From Riverdale actors to your favorite rappers, these famous faces have traded in their red carpets for prison jumpsuits. But what did they do to land themselves in the slammer for 100 plus years? Keep watching to find out. You're in for a wild ride. Number 15. R. Kelly First off, we have R. Kelly. He might believe he can fly, but we can tell you this, he's not going anywhere good. Let's rewind a bit. On July 11, 2019, R. Kelly was arrested by the feds in Chicago. Why? Well, apparently, him and a few of his buddies had been recruiting young girls for inappropriate encounters. In fact, they even went as far as isolating these girls from their families and manipulating them so that they don't reach out to anyone for help. After his arrest, an indictment was filed against Kelly in a U.S. district court in New York City. To add fuel to the fire, Chicago prosecutors issued another indictment claiming that Kelly had paid off witnesses and victims in a 2008 trial for child exploitation material. So far, it's not looking too good for him. Fast forward to August 2020, Kelly was in a federal jail in Chicago awaiting trial when he was attacked by a gang member named Jeremiah Shane Farmer. Apparently, while Kelly was sleeping in his bed when Farmer beat him up pretty bad, Kelly even sustained a serious concussion during the attack. Even his ex-wife spoke up, saying she was a victim of Kelly's emotional and physical abuse herself. Now, let's talk about the verdict. In June 2022, Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison following his trafficking conviction the year before. And if that wasn't enough, in September, he was found guilty of producing inappropriate content of minors. You'd think after all these charges, we'd see some sense of shame from the man. You'd be dead wrong, though. His attorneys are now requesting that the sentence be limited to just 11 years. Let's see how long he's going to have to rot in jail, and let's hope it's a long time. Number 14. Shannon Richardson You might recognize Shannon Richardson from her role on The Walking Dead, but she's been making headlines for a totally different reason. Back in 2013, Richardson pled guilty to some very sinister charges. We're talking about developing, producing, processing, and transferring toxins. She even mailed some threatening, poison-laced letters to a couple of people, including Barack Obama himself, who was the president at that time. Pretty bold move. But how did she pull off such a terrifying feat? Well, Richardson bought supplies using a credit card and account under her husband's name. And get this, she made the poison ricin using castor beans in the very home she shared with her husband and four children. Oh, and did we mention that she was also pregnant while concocting this deadly poison? Step aside, Breaking Bad, we got a new competitor in town. Anyhow, Richardson's letters weren't just some harmless prank. Nope, she talked about being pro-gun control, saying the right to bear arms is my constitutional God-given right and I will exercise that right till the day I die, and even went as far as to frame her husband for the crime by planting evidence in his car and his lunchbox. But the FBI wasn't fooled and she was eventually arrested in 2013. She claimed she was not mentally in the right headspace at the time, and she even admitted to lying to federal investigators and revealed her motive was to frame her husband. Richardson was given an 18-year sentence for her dangerous actions and is currently serving time in a federal prison in Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, and also, she's not even eligible for parole. See, that's what you get for messing with the President of the United States. Number 13. Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver Another celebrity who's rotting away in jail is none other than former MMA fighter Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver, who went by the name War Machine. In 2014, he brutally assaulted his ex-girlfriend, adult entertainer Christy Mack, and her male friend, Corey Thomas. According to CBS Sports, he may have avoided an attempted murder conviction, but he was still found guilty on 29 out of 34 charges, including kidnapping, battery, and sexual assault. The attack left Mack with multiple broken bones and a punctured lung. Fast forward to his sentencing in June 2017, and Coppenhaver claims to have found God while in prison. He expressed remorse for his actions, but Mac was not having it. She told the judge that she believed he would kill her once he was released. And to make matters worse, TMZ reported that Coppenhaver found love from behind bars and got engaged to a pen pal turned fiancé in 2018. It's hard to imagine what kind of person would want to marry someone who's serving 36 years to life for such a heinous crime, but hey, to each their own, right? Either way, Coppenhaver won't be eligible for parole until he's 71 years old, so it looks like he'll be rotting in jail for a long time to come. Number 12. Austin Jones Forget about your day-to-day -day YouTube drama, because James Charles vs. Tati Westbrook has got nothing on what we're about to tell you. We're talking about Austin Jones. Now, if you're not a die-hard YouTube fan, you might not know who he is. We got you covered. 
Jones was a YouTuber who got famous for doing a cappella covers of popular songs. He had over half a million subscribers and was one of the biggest names on the platform. But here's the thing, Jones wasn't just controversial, he was downright creepy. In 2017, he was arrested for soliciting explicit videos from underage fans. He was using his fame to prey on young girls. After pleading guilty to the charges, Jones was sentenced to 10 years in prison. A decade behind bars isn't nearly enough after all the lives he's ruined. What do you guys think? Number 11. Joe Exotic You might remember Joe Exotic from that crazy 2020 Netflix reality TV show, Tiger King. That show was like a roller coaster ride through the wild and wacky world of big cat collectors, but Joe Exotic took the cake for being the most eccentric character of them all. He was a man shining in many trades. Not only did he run the GW Zoo in Oklahoma, but he also had a side gig in country music and dabbled in firearms. And let's not forget the time he tried to run for the office of governor of Oklahoma. But things took a dark turn when he started beefing with animal rights activist Carol Baskin. And by beefing, we mean trying to hire a hitman to take her out for three grand. But that wasn't even the worst of it. Joe Exotic was also guilty of some other shady stuff, like killing five tigers and selling baby lemurs illegally. And in 2020, the law finally caught up with him. He got sentenced to 22 years in prison, plus three more years of supervised release after he gets out. Can he appeal that sentence? Well, he tried. In fact, he managed to shave off one year from his sentence before, but when he appealed again in 2022, the court shut him down. Tough luck, Joe. Number 10. Suge Knight The former music mogul Suge Knight has had his fair share of trouble with the law, but his most recent conviction is a doozy. In 2015, Knight was charged with murder and attempted murder after a hit and run on the set of the movie Straight Outta Compton. According to the Los Angeles Times, Knight was accused of running over two men with his truck, Clee Bone Sloan, who survived, and Terry Carter, who tragically died. Knight's bail was revoked because of his criminal history and the seriousness of his charges, which set the stage for one of the most anticipated trials in recent memory. But the road to Knight's trial was a bumpy one. He had a laundry list of health issues, and an astounding 15 lawyers came and went from his case. And that's not the first time Knight has found himself on the wrong side of the law. He was shot six times in a nightclub in 2014, arrested for driving on a suspended license in 2013, and even got into a fight at an Arizona hotel in 2009. Now, Knight claims that Dr. Dre was behind a plot to have him kill. Knight told The Blast that there's proof of Dre being involved in this to get rid of him. It's a bold accusation, but it's not the first time these two have clashed. They were once business partners, but their relationship soured over money and creative differences. As it stands, Knight is serving his sentence at the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility in San Diego County, California, and he won't be eligible for parole until 2037. That's a long time behind bars, but when you play with fire, you're bound to get burned. He was sentenced to 28 years in prison in 2018. Number 9. Jared Fogel Do you remember Jared from those Subway commercials? The ones where he lost over 200 pounds by eating sandwiches every day? Well, hate to break it to you, but he's been served. In 2015, Jared was arrested for receiving inappropriate images of minors and having relations with them. We're talking more than 400 videos of illicit content, and in a sick plot twist, some of these videos were even sent to him by the head of his charitable organization, the Jared Fogel Foundation. This dude was involved in crossing state lines to engage in illegal, inappropriate conduct and had over 400 videos of illicit content. But wait, there's more. While behind bars, Jared got his butt kicked by another inmate who just couldn't take more of Fogel being hailed for being a molester. Apparently, the other child molesters in prison saw Jared as some sort of god, and he was protected by bodyguards. I mean, come on, it's a prison, not a freaking celebrity convention. But what really takes the cake is the fact that, after all of this fiasco, Jared actually tried to sue federal authorities and his former attorneys for constitutional violations, government overreach, and convictions not based in the law. The judge dismissed the whole thing in 2018. But there's a glimmer of hope. In 2021, Jared spoke out from behind bars, admitting he had royally screwed up and is looking forward to his eventual release. We don't know about you guys, but I think he's got a long way to go before anyone's ready to forgive him. He was sentenced to over 15 years in prison and won't be eligible for parole until he serves at least 13 years. Plus, he was ordered to pay $1.4 million in restitution to the 14 minors he assaulted. Number 8. Harvey Weinstein how can we talk about the most shocking falls from grace in Hollywood history without mentioning Harvey Weinstein, the movie mogul who once ruled Tinseltown with an iron fist? As it turns out, his reign was built on a foundation of misconduct and abuse. 
When the allegations against Weinstein finally came to light in 2017, the world was stunned. Over 80 women came forward, including big names like Rose McGowan and Salma Hayek, to accuse him of assault and harassment. This guy was a real-life monster, folks. And it wasn't just talk. Weinstein was actually arrested and charged with rape, criminal inappropriate physical act, and other felony charges in 2018. He posted bail and wore an ankle monitor, but it was clear that the walls were closing in on him. After a lengthy trial in 2020, Weinstein was finally found guilty of committing a criminal physical act against one woman and third-degree rape against another. But Weinstein's legal troubles didn't end there. He was sentenced to 23 years in prison, and rightly so. Add to that an additional 16 years in 2021 after being extradited to LA to face additional charges from another victim. That's 39 years in jail. Justice had finally been served. So what's the moral of the story? Just because you're a big shot Hollywood producer doesn't mean you can get away with anything. Weinstein learned that the hard way and now he's paying the price. Let this be a lesson to all the other bigwigs out there. Your past misdeeds will catch up with you eventually. Number 7. Tori Linez up next, Canadian rapper Tori Linez. Now, you might remember Tori from his hit songs like Say It and Love, or maybe from his Grammy-nominated track Love Me Now. His career took a deep dive when he got involved in some shady business. Back in July 2020, Tori was hanging out with Megan Thee Stallion, one of the hottest rappers in the game right now. But things took a turn for the worst when he shot her twice with an unregistered gun after a party. Now, Megan wrote about the incident in the New York Times, comparing it to other acts of violence against black women in America. She even said that Tony offered her money to keep quiet about it. What a scumbag. But Tory denied everything, saying that Megan was lying and trying to hurt him. He even mentioned the situation in one of his songs. Well, karma caught up with Tory because he was found guilty of three felony charges in December 2022. The charges included assault with a semi-automatic handgun, having a loaded and unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and gross negligence in discharging his firearm. And get this, every man in a position of power in the music industry took his side. But that didn't matter because the courts saw through his lies and he was sent straight to jail. While the sentence has not been announced yet, he could be facing up to 22 years in prison. What's he up to right now, you ask? Oh, he's in jail, waiting for confirmation that he's going to be rotting in jail for a long time now. Just the usual. Another celeb bites the dust and ends up behind bars. Number 6. William Hayden Do you remember William Hayden from the Discovery Channel's Sons of Guns? A show about his family's gun shop in Louisiana. But what you might not know is that Hayden is a sick, twisted predator. In 2014, he was arrested for raping a preteen girl and it only got worse from there. During his trial in 2017, it came out that he had been preying on this poor girl repeatedly since she was just 11 years old. And if that wasn't bad enough, a 37-year-old woman also testified that he had abused her when she was just 12. Even his own daughter, Stephanie, who used to appear with him on Sons of Guns, revealed on Dr. Phil that he had also abused her. What a sicko. At the end of the trial, Hayden was found guilty of aggravated rape and forcible rape and got himself two life sentences plus 40 years in prison. But that wasn't enough justice for this monster. He was hit with a third life sentence in July 2017, which the assistant district attorney declared was necessary to satisfy our obligation to the public for public safety to make sure that the defendant stays in jail for the rest of his life. Somehow, that still seems less. Number 5. Michael Jace Oh boy, we've got another one for our list of celebs who ended up behind bars. Michael Jace, who played a police officer on The Shield, was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison for shooting his wife in front of their two kids in 2014. This guy literally pulled the trigger on his own wife with their little ones right there to witness it. Why did he do it? Well, it seems that Michael was just a tad bit jealous. You see, his wife April wanted a divorce, and he was convinced that she was seeing someone else. So, when April came home one day in May 2014, Michael decided to take matters into his own hands and shot her multiple times. He even reportedly said to her, if you like running, then run to heaven. And it's not like this was Michael's first time being violent towards his partners. According to court documents, a friend of his first wife revealed that he had physically abused her during their marriage. Michael's own son was even said to be afraid of him. It's a shame, really, because Michael had a pretty decent acting career going for him. He was in Southland and even played Michael Jordan in a made-for-TV movie. But now, he'll be spending the rest of his up to 40 years life behind bars. Number 4. Amy Locaine From the bright Hollywood lights to the dark and gloomy walls of prison, here's the story of the actress Amy Locaine. You might remember her as one of the stars of the cult classic Cry Baby, but these days she's known for something else entirely. 
a deadly drunk driving accident. It all went down in 2010 when Amy was cruising around in her car in Montgomery, New Jersey. She was driving way too fast, going 53 miles per hour when she slammed into another car. The passenger in that car, a 60-year-old woman named Helen Seaman, died on impact. Her husband, Fred Seaman, was lucky enough to survive but was rushed to the hospital. And guess what? Amy had been drinking. When the cops came to take her in, she admitted to it. Her blood alcohol level was off the charts almost three times over the legal limit. Not good, Amy. Not good. Now, you might think that after causing a fatal accident, Amy would get a pretty serious punishment. But her lawyers fought for a lighter sentence, arguing that she had young children to take care of. And she only ended up serving three years in prison. That didn't sit well with Helen's family, who felt like justice hadn't been served. And they were right. After a bunch of appeals, Amy was hit with a new sentence of eight years in 2020. If you plan to seek Amy anytime soon, you know where to find her, rotting in jail. Number 3. Jen Shaw now, let's dive into the scandalous world of The Real Housewives and one of its most infamous stars, Jen Shaw. She went from being Shaw-mazing to a straight-up fraudster who scammed vulnerable elderly folks out of their savings through a telemarketing scheme. Yikes. But before her trial, Jen tried to play the victim by releasing free Jen merchandise and pushing for justice for Jen. Girl, please. That's like Regina George trying to make fetch happen. Needless to say, it didn't work out too well for her. The U.S. Attorney Office accused her of conspiracy to commit fraud and money laundering, and it turned out she had been involved in the scam since 2012. That's a long time to be living that criminal lifestyle. Come 2022, and Jen finally pled guilty. But she didn't just take responsibility for her actions. No, no, no. She tried to argue that her criminal activity stemmed from some personal painful experiences that I was going through in my life. In the end, the court sentenced her to six and a half years in prison and a hefty $6 million to pay to her victims. That's one expensive lesson to learn. The prosecution said it best when they stated that Jennifer Shaw finally faces the consequences of the many years she spent targeting vulnerable elderly victims. And just like that, Jen went from shamazing to prison bound. Number 2. Kid Creole Kid Creole was a member of the iconic Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. You might know him as the legendary rapper who helped pave the way for politically charged hip-hop. But did you know he's currently rotting away his life in jail? Surprised? Wait till you hear what he did to land there. According to reports, Kid Creole allegedly stabbed a homeless man twice in the torso after he thought the man was trying to rob him. Um, what now? He tried to get his way out of it by claiming he was mentally ill at the time, but the judge was not having any of that. On April 6, 2022, Kid Creole was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter. So what's next? 16 years in prison is what's next. You don't just accidentally kill a man and not expect to be rotting in prison. No, sir. See you in 16 years, kid. Or not. Number 1. Ryan Grantham Ryan Grantham was on the rise, appearing in almost 40 movies and TV shows, including big-budget films like Jumper and The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. But in March 2020, his life took a turn for the worse when he shot his mother in the back of the head. And that's not all. He even planned to kill Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Bruh! After a video confession and turning himself over to the authorities, Grantham was sentenced to a life in prison with the possibility of parole after 14 years. Looks like Ryan just got a whole lot of time to himself to contemplate what he did. He'll spend his days behind bars, reflecting on his actions and regretting what he did to his mother. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through the world of celebrity justice. We hope you enjoyed this video about 15 celebrities who are still behind bars.